it's based on some kind of thing, and it's decorated. They were decorated whimsically to draw the kids in. They read for points, and they turn the points for prizes. And you know that saying um, um, that from first through third grade, you learn to read. And from that point on, you read to learn. So if we don't get the kids engaged and reading on level early, then they're going to be lost. So, so to, to prevent that, you know, at first they're reading for those prizes, but that's why they're going to learn. And of course, standardized test grades go up and so on and so forth. But I tell you, when you see these kids, I mean, they, they can pick whatever book they want. It's not an assignment. And these books are all, you know, they're, they're Newbery Medal winners. They're, you know, family this, that. You know, they're, they're all award winning books. And um, when I go, you heard him talk about the power of prayer. Can you imagine 500 kids sitting across the lake on the floor? And I'm saying, your brain can process too many bits of information. Oh, you know, they're, they're, they're just, you know, I mean, and it's stuff they haven't heard before. And then when, they, when I said, we can't overload your brain either. How long do you think it'll take you if you can learn one fact per second to overload your brain? Kids go up and they say, oh, man. <laughs> but, but when I tell them, it's a million years. And they go, I mean, you know, you, you, can, you, can, you can see the impact, you know. It, it's, just, it's just so incredible to be able to tell them that, what he, what he was saying about the person has the most to do with math you. Because think about it, you're in a class, and there's maybe 25, 30 of you. The teacher might not notice that you're not getting it. But you realize that every single subject is based on building blocks. Whether it's, um, whether it's chemistry, algebra, geometry, what about reading? If you knew all the letters except the AST, and what could you read? Man. Oh, it's just, uh, I, I'm getting this one right here, though, because it's helping them to understand that you're not dumb. No matter how many times somebody tells you you're dumb, you're not. You're fearfully and wonderful way. Three million years to start to tell you you're kind of your brain. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> but, but, man, you can see how I get excited because it's helping the children understand that each one of them is important. We're all created in the image of God. And, and, and if God puts something, God put something in heart for you to do. He's going to help you find a way to do it. Okay? You're not dumb. If you don't understand something, go back to where it was. And then go from there. Or you can ask anyone in the room because we care enough about you to help you become the best you can be. So, and if we don't know the answer, because I have to say that too, because some teachers, I think I had one of those teachers where they didn't really understand it and they, couldn't, and, and they made us feel stupid. Right? I mean, I, I, hey, I had a few. Anyway, um, <laughs> but help them understand that they can point them to the right direction. You know, you don't have to know everything. And you can't know everything. I mean, you know, the, the, the knowledge explosion thing, you know, going on. So anyway, um, yes, we have uh, one, one, one uh, school, the kids voted on a fantasy land. So they voted for what was gonna be painted up there. That our teachers spent over 90 hours of their own time painting us a, a, a troll under a bridge reading a book, a dinosaur. In a book, a sloppy, ugly creature hanging from the tree. Read the book. I mean, they, you know, those kinds of things. Some of them based on space, um, surfaces. You know, you can imagine. And sometimes the kids will come up after and say, 